In today's show, we focus on a grave and sad news story, which unfortunately affects all of humanity. Rarely in the world of iGaming and online gambling do stories hold much interest for the average square American citizen. Usually the news consists of mergers, acquisitions, indictments, thefts and other nefarious activity which primarily affects only the punters in those operators reported on. However, with a heavy heart, today we report on one story which sadly affects all of humanity. Hi, I'm Natalie Rydstrom with Sportsbook Review and this is the iGaming News. Widely beloved internet celebrity The Prick disappeared sometime early in October. The Prick brought joy to literally tens of loyal followers with his insightful handicapping and general folksy delivery and most recently was the centrepiece of his 10th annual handicapping contest hosted by Sportsbook Review and sponsored by Bet Chris. There has been some speculation as to his whereabouts and to the cause of his disappearance. But as always, the Sportsbook Review is using its massive investigative resources to dispel rumours and shed the light of truth on the matter. Amidst widespread panic and clamour from the prick's minion of supporters, Sportsbook Review put all other stories on hold to throw literally all of our power into discovering the truth about the prick. Alive or dead, incarcerated or free, Sportsbook Review has vowed to unearth the details of the prick's absence and or demise. Thirteen days into our efforts, we have discovered absolutely nothing. Zip, zilch, bugger all, nada. We did, however, unearth the following video. While protecting our sources, we are feverishly working on verifying its authenticity, a process which requires many weeks of forensic analysis. We did feel obligated to share it with our viewership, as our initial reaction is that it is, in fact, the legendary prick. To whom it may concern, you can all kiss my big, fat, white, hairy, fucking ass. Until I get a heartfelt apology from somebody and charge some shit around here, I'm going to boycott the remainder of the contest. Y'all trying to make me look like some kind of circus clown or some fucking freak. And the cheese dicks in charge of this is going to pay. The autocracies are just too many to discuss. And my lawyer advised me to keep my mouth shut until a settlement's been reached. And for me, that's hard to do because I'm used to voicing my opinion and telling it just like it motherfucking is. But my, I've been traumatized and my inner child has been bruised. So I, I just prefer to keep this out of the court as possible. So here's my picks. Duke, plus three. East Carolina, minus seven, minus 105. Colorado State, minus six, and one half, minus 115. Notre Dame, minus 14. Redskins, the Vikings, under 44 and a half. Oh yeah, I, I, I would like to thank Best bet Chris for this. I appreciate your support throughout this whole ordeal. Y'all the only ones been damn decent to me. So anyway, all y'all out there just sit on that right there, you bunch of prima donna ballerina motherfuckers. Hopefully that has brought some sense of comfort to the huge segment of the population filled with ambivalence as to the prick status. Prick, if you are in fact still among the living, God bless you and please return to bring joy and meaning to our petty and ordinary lives. This has been Natalie Rydstrom with Sportsbook Review, bringing you the news that matters. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.